Hey, Star Wars Action Figure Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with my Lego minifigure collection update video. It's been about almost a year. I've been seeing a lot of great reviews and a lot of different people, subscribers of mine, people who I watch who've just shown a real interest in Legos, uh, Star Wars Legos, and I thought it might be of interest to some of you to see my Lego minifigure collection, and it's been yeah, almost a year. I recorded it last year in May. So I just wanted to give an update as to all the figures that I have. So I'll probably do this in parts. Because as you can see, I have a lot. And last time I just kind of skimmed over them real quickly. Today I just really wanted to give you guys kind of a... Not an in-depth look, but just a closer view of each figure. So I'm going to start off today with... I don't know, it'll probably be about seven or eight video seven or eight minutes, and then I'll go into a second part, maybe a third part, and we'll see just how it goes from there. So let me just get my camera adjusted, and uh, you might hear Lego mini figures fall. I apologize for that, but you know, really didn't really know how to do this. So I'm just gonna kind of go. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. All right, so first. We have Yoda. So let me go ahead and get some lighting on this guy. Okay. So there's Yoda. Nice little figure. Some printing on the torso. The short legs. So I actually have two of those. Okay. And then I have a different Yoda with uh, some different torso printing. Slight difference, not huge compared to the other one. Nice green lightsabers. Okay. Next we have Eeth Koth. It's a great facial sculpt. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, it does have some printing. There you go. And some back printing. It's a real cool figure. Alright, and I know some of these have some faces on the back, but I can't remember which ones they are. I don't want to have to take the hair off of everyone. Here's Quinlan Voss. I really like the paint job on this guy. The paint applications are pretty cool. As you can see, he has a little tail coming down. Some bag printing. Very cool figure. So yeah. Uh, next is Satil Shan. It's a recent purchase. She has a double bladed lightsaber. Nice ponytail. Some printing on the legs. Some back torso printing. And then she has her mean face in the back. So there's that teal. Uh, three Obi Wans, each of them different. So uh, this one is from uh, Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. Okay, there's his more serious face, some back printing and and some on the torso, and really nice Obi-Wan. Uh, this is from a recent Clone Wars, I think. Actually, no, the other one was Clone Wars, I'm sorry. This is from Revenge of the Sith. Some back printing. Similar, but you can definitely tell in the eyes. This is Clone Wars, and this is uh, Revenge of the Sith movie line. And then uh, earlier seasons, Clone Wars Obi-Wan with the white armor. Really nice Obi-Wan. Okay. Uh, next we have Stacey Tin. And this is the Clone Wars version. Really like the detail on the head. Really nice plastic on this guy. Shock T, another good, good Lego minifig. There's some printing on the torso. You can see her neck right there. She has the canvas type cape. A nice little headpiece that comes off. Okay, really like that. Nice red color. Nice shock T, very nice. Uh, Nadar Veb. 
Really cool head sculpt on this guy. Some bag printing. Nice. Very nice. Next we have, uh, let's see, Clone Wars Barris Offy. And this one has, um, I think is it a double sided? No, not this one. But short cape, just like it's as seen in the Clone Wars series. It's a very nice figure. And then we have uh, movie Barris Offy. So that's uh, kind of hard to see with the hood on. There's her face, she's got her tattoos, some printing on the torso. There might be some back printing on here, but uh, one of my favorite figs, of course, probably because I'm biased towards Luminaro and Dooley, but I really like the printing on this one. They've got printing on the legs, which is really cool. And then she's got a, she comes in a bark with a bark speeder, so she's got this face with the uh, goggles on, so that's really nice when she's on her bark speeder. Great, great figure. Uh, next we have Plo Koon. Really nice head sculpt on this guy too. Uh, Kaidi Mundi. Another great head sculpt there. Some back printing on the torso. Really cool. I like the ridges on the back of his head. Uh, Mace Windu. Older version of Mace, not the newest. But I really like this one. Really like the color of the uh, Jedi uniform. Of course, he comes with his traditional purple lightsaber. It's very cool. Uh, Kid Fisto. She has some printing on the torso. There we go. Nice soft plastic headpiece, which most of these have, like Kiyari Mundi and Shock T. Ayla. Sport the tank top there. Nice headpiece, some bag printing, very cool. The one sleeve over there, that's awesome. And then here is my uh, Ben Kenobi gray hair okay uh, next we have Ahsoka from earlier seasons their lightsaber okay and then we have let's see I actually have two of those don't think there's a difference and then there is season three Ahsoka which is a recent purchase. She comes with her two lightsabers. And so there's some printing on the legs, which is really nice. It's back printing, much, much better than the other one. As you know, she's highly sought after too, just like the figures. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll actually stop right there and I will continue on in the next part. So until then, may the force be with you.